Hey, welcome to the show. It's a really exciting show today. We're, we're really excited to be joined by Mr. David Long from North Carolina. David and his wife own a company called MyEmployees.com. And this company is amazing. The company is dedicated to helping people recognize those that are most important to themselves, mm -hmm. to the companies. Sure. But today, the focus of our conversation is about an incredible new book, David, that you wrote called Built to Lead. Let's start off right there. Why'd you write the book? I Out of the, every 100 employees, only six to seven people ever become manager at all. And of those six to seven people, according to research, only really less than one ever becomes promoted to the second level. So there's a real issue there where managers, there's a massive failure rate. So managers need some help. So my company, we deal with employees, but I always wanted to help the managers be more successful because if we help the managers be more successful, then the companies will be more successful. The managers will stay with us. And so that's the gist of why I wrote the book is because I saw that as the biggest problem where managers were failing so much. And when they would fail, we would lose a manager. We would lose a client. A lot of times the new manager comes in and automatically eliminates what the old manager was doing even if it was working. So you've been uh, cited a couple of times now that I've known you as um, leading one of the greatest companies in America for employee recognition, which really means employee retention. Mm -hmm. But if we look back to the beginning of your professional life, there really isn't much to do with employee retention, recognition, and senior management of one of America's fastest growing young companies. How did this all start? Where did you develop this love for recognition and, and this whole mindset about helping people? I like to win. Okay. I always like to win the awards myself. Uh, so when the opportunity came along, I, I engraved jewelry when I was younger and I had an opportunity to, to engrave plaques. And I started doing that. And from that, I really like helping people win and be successful. So when I'm spending time uh, in my career and all everything I do is toward helping others win, that's very rewarding. So I like the fact that we work with managers to help them be successful by rewarding and recognizing their people. And the only way they can be successful, as Zig Ziglar said, to get what you want in life, you must first help others get what they want. So if I help the managers help their employees become more successful, the managers will be more successful and our company will be more successful as a result. Okay, so what's in the book? It, like, you, you, I've heard you already say that you want to help somebody with this book to keep managers growing, to help mm -hmm. them get promoted, mm -hmm. help people really understand uh, what they need to do to get the best out of a job, really. Mm -hmm. But what's in the book that's actually going to help them with that? I have what I call the seven rewards principles. And the first one is, uh, which are obviously, was reconnaissance, knowing, as Jim Collins said in the book, great, Good to Great, um, know who's on your, in your bus, or on your bus, pardon me. So you, know, you have to know who your people are that are with you now, you have to assess basically which ones are great, which ones are not so great. You try to fix the ones that are not so great, but if you can't fix them, you gotta let them go. You gotta replace them. The second principle is the E basically is educate. So you wanna educate the people that you have and help them be better. They need to understand that you are trying to help them be more successful in their career. So the third one is um, winners emerge. When you're educating them, you start to see certain people step forward. Um, and those are your winners, obviously. So you want to spend more time grooming them. Mm -hmm. The next one, the A, is attitude. You can't do anything if they don't have the right attitude. You can't build upon it. The foundation is too shaky. So you need to make sure that they have the, ca they're the caliber of people that you want to build in your team. The R is recognition. And obviously, that's, that's what our business primarily is. Uh, we do, of course, recognition, but it's employee recognition, but it's also we test employee testing as far as for engagement to see how they, how their loyalty is toward their manager and toward the company. So from when we determine the, how they are as far as how successful the manager's relationship is with the employees, then we've got something we can work with. Uh, the, a lot of times it's complete disconnect. The manager thinks he's or she are very connected with their employees and then you test the employees. Mm and it's rarely anywhere close. Right. So we work on that. Um, so we continue with the attitude, and like I said, that's the foundation. And we go to rec recognition, pardon me. Recognition is when we're helping them recognize their top people because we want to recognize their top people so that they can get promoted and go to the next level. Because if I'm a successful manager, I'm having little mini dates. Right. 
going out and starting other companies, not necessarily starting, but starting to run other companies. Because if you're working for a Fortune 500 company and they're adding new locations, especially for a fast growing company, they have to have a source, a source to be able to get people from. Wow. And so you, you definitely have to be, uh, be seen as someone that is a, is a grower of their people. Uh, after your recognition is duplication, the D. And you're constantly finding your best people and you're having them mentor other people that are coming up. So you're duplicating your people. I basically call it in the book, I talk about the shark's tooth um, strategy for right. management and development. Because in sharks, of course, I'm from Wilmington, North Carolina on the ocean. And if you know anything about sharks, they have rows of teeth. So if the first one, if they're fighting with a prey and they yank out a tooth, another one pops up in its place. Exactly. So you have to constantly have people ready to pop up directly behind a manager that gets promoted. Maybe that manager failed, but you have to have someone take their place. Hopefully it's promoted, which is, is the goal. Uh, the last thing really is, is success, the S. And success means different things to different people. Right. Uh, it is not money. Money is a byproduct of success. But to really be successful, you have to help other people be successful in their life. And once again, it goes back to what Zig said, help other people get what they want so you'll get what you want by default. Um, it doesn't matter how much a person, how much money they have. It matters, it matters really if they're benefiting and growing people because they're not going to be fulfilled, if you want to use that word, uh, if they're not doing that. Right. Money, is, money is a hollow substitute. So I know for a fact that there are millions of small, medium, and large-sized businesses in America. 16 million. And there are going to be hundreds of thousands of people that see this video. And by yeah. now, as you've done for me with my small business, you've intrigued every one of them. Yeah. So then the question really is, when can they start? When should they start? At the beginning with your first employee. Yeah, it's not a good time to give plaques out or you know, recognition like that. And I didn't give plaques out to my own employees in the beginning because it didn't make sense. If you've got two salespeople, yeah, one every month, every second <laughs> month. Yeah. yeah, that's not too bright. You might bright. as well use them at bookends then. But, yeah, guess. exactly. But what I can do is I can make a point to say that, Ken, you phenomenal month, you did this and this and this. But what I can do is basically is I can take you to lunch with me. Mm -hmm. And I can give you prime Dave time. Wow. Where we, you and I are bonding and spending time. So as we continue to grow the company, I still do that, but now we can go above and beyond in many levels of recognition. So the book, I noticed in the acronym right away as you were describing it to, yeah. us, to us earlier in the interview that it's not really a, the rewards mantra is not really just about recognizes employees. Mm -mm. It's about building a business yeah. to yeah. lead the business. Right, exactly. People should start using the philosophies in the book the very first day they want to start a yeah. business. Yeah. What about when a company gets into the hundreds of employees and hundreds of millions in revenue? Yeah. Can the book scale their business with them? Absolutely, because all companies are broken down into departments, which in itself is a business within a business. Got it. So the principles apply. Got it. Where do you see this book taking you? Where do you see the book going? What are you hoping, if, if you decide this book has been successful in two years from now, what has it done for America? Gosh sakes, if a, lot of, if a lot of people read the book, it's going to dramatically change their career opportunities and their success. And that's what I want. I don't want just managers to read this. I want people that want to be managers to read this. Because like I said, if they read it and they grasp the principles, then there will be a strong manager coming out of the gate. And these things that I've written about in this book, a lot of them I found out the hard way. You know, like I said, I read, you know, I told you this before, I read three hours a day, every day. Mm -hmm. I constantly read and learn things to help me be better at what I do. And I make my people do it. As we finish up today, let's yeah. talk for a second about top10manager.com. Okay. What are they going to find on that website? Some resources to help them uh, be a better manager, basically. Uh, of course, you talk about the book there, obviously. But we talk about different principles in the book as well. And we're also going to have some testimonials there of managers who are doing the things that we're talking about right now. Awesome. Like testimonials for people that do the book club, et cetera. Very good. If you are as inspired as I am by what we've talked about today in this interview, then make sure to drop by top10manager.com. Learn more about Built to Lead, about the incredible company myemployees.com behind this book, and take advantage of the resources that are on that website. Dave, thanks a lot for being here today. Thank you. Appreciate it.